Libra to your beginning of the month reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Uh, right after this, guys, we're going to um, I'm going to put up the solar eclipse reading. Okay, I want to get that out ASAP. Okay, so we, and we also have a Mercury retrograde that's coming out as well, so we'll be doing that reading as well. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Having a big month over here when it comes to a lot of um, universal energies coming through. So, okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Best messages coming out. inner feelings coming out and feeling about ooh, a little insecure maybe a little obsessive right now guys feeling a little obsessive about something um it could be you or someone else it does feel like it could be your energy right now though that your inner feelings are really taking a toll on you um this is talking also about being very confident very courageous let's see determination that determination coming out feeling it very confident where it felt like you had lack of confidence there for a while or really trying to build that zest and that confidence up because of lack of confidence right why are you there it says that there's some kind of uh, no motivation no passion when it's coming to a certain situation let's just see what's going on here moving on into a different direction having conflicts in the home. So there could be some kind of conflicts in the home. Might be if trying to figure out some kind of shortcut. Uh, might be kind of the unauthored, unorthodox kind of way um, to do so. It does feel like there's something kind of mischievous, something kind of suspicious. Wanting alone time. Giving up. There's definitely some kind of home conflict that's going on within this situation where it's like, I'm just like not motivated right now to, and have lack of confidence that this is going to work out the way I want it to. It feels like your, your courage and your confidence is going into a different direction at this time. Um, your inner feelings, um, you're just kind of keeping it with your own self-love over here, keeping it towards your, maybe your children or however, whoever, whatever. Um, but it does feel like whatever's going on, you're, you're giving yourself other creative opportunities. Like I said, putting your direction and your passion somewhere else um, away from this misdirected um, activity when it comes to this uh, breaking communication when it comes to this home conflict. So it does feel like whatever you're doing, there is some kind of releasing the baggage right now and kind of leaving that behind, right? So there could be this kind of like elephant standing in the room scenario for sure. Um, it could be that there is a lot of jealousy or something going on over here because I do have a card of jealousy twice. So there could be some kind of mistrust, jealousy, unfaithfulness going on when it comes to a certain situation. Um, you might even feel like somebody might be a little self-centered or they may be feeling like you're being a little self-centered about the situation. Take it how it resonates. Um, but however it is, it's definitely you taking some, some alone time, walking away from this situation. Um, definitely being more antisocial than normal within the homestead. Um, so over here it says you're coming clean about the situation. There could be some kind of confession when it comes to this. Rethinking the approach on how I'm going to speak my, you know, speak about this situation. Um, there is some like brutally honest, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what it is. It's brutally honest communication that's going to come out of this situation, either from you or from them, um, where you might have felt like there was some clouded um, clarity. Like you could even say, um, I'm going to be brutally honest about this. You are not seeing this exactly the way it should be this is the way it is um that type of scenario 
Um, but there is definitely some kind of, once again, lack of motivation. I don't want to deal with this situation. I have lack of passion for this situation and no motivation when it comes to wanting to fix this situation. It's kind of crazy because it's almost like I have no want to fix this right now or really communicate about this. But if you're going to make me communicate with this, I'm going to be brutally honest with you about the situation. Maybe the brutally honest is I don't want to talk about this, right? Maybe that's it, <laughs> right? We're not talking about this right now. That's my brutally honest, right? Because it's kind of like what it really feels like. You're being brutally honest to them, telling them we're not doing this and this is not going to happen. Okay, because there is some kind of group conflict that's going on when it comes to the situation. You might even have, you know, it's kind of crazy, but you might have people over at the house when this is going on. And that could be why, right? You're saying like, we have company. Um, so my brutally honest is, we're not speaking about this because we have company. Okay, so shush it. You know, we're not doing this while we have company. We're not doing this while my mom's here. We're not doing this while my brother's here. You see what I'm saying? Like, we're not doing this. Um, and that really is feeling exactly what it is. They really do feel like there's some kind of unfairness going on within the situation. And they do feel like, well, you know, there was some kind of dishonesty or something. Somebody was being very dishonest about a situation. But they're taking lack of accountability um, but they do feel like this unfair. Um, but there is going to be a tower. And it almost feels like the tower is going to come as soon as, like I said, like mom leaves, your brother leaves, whoever leaves. Um, as soon as that's all done and we're, it's all done being averted um, to the situation, the tower will fall. That's when the storm is going, boom. That's when everything's going to collapse. Um, and it's, right, it's like I'm hiding out now because I'm averting this tower right now. It's pretty much like... We're not talking about this, but when we do, here goes the tower. Yeah. Yeah, because everything will be spoken. Everything that's kind of like secret and hiding right now, justice will be made. Okay, so whatever you're keeping in the low down over here, whatever misunderstandings, whatever is keeping hidden, whatever silence is being done at this time, and whoever is saying, shush, we're not talking about this right now, after that silence, all of that is over, the tower comes, judgment call is made. Okay. No, oh, absolutely. Okay. This is how you're going to restore your balance and restore the control of where the control needs to be restored. Breaking the chains. Because it's going to, and it is, it's going to be a lot of friction. A lot of friction is going to go down from that situation. But right now, it's just kind of like on the hush-hush. Okay, so clarify on the other person, please. The other person says that there's a lot of negative talk about the situation and they're trying to release the pain at this time. Um, they actually feel like they're repressing their emotions at this time or feel like you are repressing your emotions and they want to travel towards this situation. They want to get past this. So I do feel like it is them who keeps trying to bring it back up and you're trying to like, shh, we're not talking about this right now. Um, they are trying to reprioritize the situation because they understand that this has become very frustrated and inconsistent when it comes that way. But they're also feeling very defensive and on the defense line. And that's why they really want to try to keep bringing this up. Um, but you, on the other hand, either you are, like I said, holding back and telling them no because either you have company or because you're not ready to get into this yet. Like maybe you're in thinking mode. You have to go into hermit mode. You want to think about maybe how I'm going to, what I'm going to do. How am I going to take this to the next level? Are we going to fix this? Or are we not going to fix this? How is this going to go? You see what I'm saying? How are we going to, you know, restore the control over here when it comes to this situation? Um, so, yeah, there's going to be a lot of talking when it comes to this situation. They understand that there could be an inevitable end to this situation, whether that means an ending to the situation or an ending to the relationship. It's going to be different for everybody. But they do feel like in the end that everything will be satisfied and, and content that it needs to be. But they do feel like no matter what, there was a lot of carelessness when it came to this situation. And they're carrying a lot of guilt um, when it comes to this situation for whatever was going on. 
Um, but they're just going to be in a self-acceptance. So it's almost like when you come down to the situation of what's going on, they're going to be like, yep, that's what happened. You know what I mean? Because there's nothing they can do anymore. They can't hide that anymore. It's just about how it's going to go down. But it does feel like they're feeling guilty, and that's why they're really coming to back to try to yeah, fix the situation. They're going through a lot of emotional loss and grief and mental conflict when it comes to this situation. So they do. They want to fix this. They want this chapter to end, right, so that they can feel like, you know, that they have victory. They want to get their ace of swords over here, and they think that they're going to have victory over the situation, even though there might have been a lot of deception and envy about the situation. They want everything to work out and get past this so they can get back to the blessings between you and them. Okay? Okay, my friends. And the overall card really is the tower. So no matter what, there is definitely a disruption that is the overall energy for uh, this time of the month. Okay, until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.